one of our previews this week. We have a movie that, gosh darn it, I didn't expect to be excited for, but I wanted to send this one off the trailer. White House Down with Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx. Hey, can I show you something? These are White House passes. Your dad here has a job interview with the Secret Service. No way. <laughs> this is really cool. John Kale. Why do you want to be in the Secret Service? I can't think of a more important job than protecting the president. In college, you barely maintained a C average. <laughs> You're not to look at Agent Todd. <laughs> Special Agent Todd keeps making those sounds. I'm going to start looking at him. Did you get the job? Yeah, I think I got a shot. You know how it is. They gotta go talk amongst themselves. If you are just tuning in, we are going to breaking news out of Washington. This is John Cale. I'm in the White House. They've taken the building and they're holding hostages, including my daughter. Alpha One, do you have the target? Roger that. We're holding the president in the library. That's a library. Uh, don't go in there. Just. Oh, this is so stupid. You mean Mr. President? Go, 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 go! Let's just call SEAL Team 6 and they come in here to get us. We have a scramble sat phone in the residence. Great, where's that at? Of course it is. By the way, John Cale. Same story. Help is not coming. You just need to get out of there. My little girl is counting on me right now and I'm not gonna disappear on her. Explosive used at the Capitol was a diversion. It's gotta be a bigger play. Like what? There's only one way to find out. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go! I know you're into peace and all that, but you gotta stick that thing out there and go to work. Damn right. I lost the rocket launcher. You lost? How do you I lose lost. a rocket launcher? Hands off my joints! Please shoot him! No, don't shoot him! So, this is uh, White House Down, another Roland Emmerich film where he gets to blow stuff up. Mostly the White House. Mostly the White House. He fucking hates that shit. I know. <laughs> He's either freezing it, blowing it up, or like, or throwing a battleship on it. I'm you just know? saying, <laughs> how is he not on a watch list yet? Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. How many times is he going to be German, like... The German-born Roland Emmerich. You know, he's not native to America, you know? <laughs> you, you missed the days when the White House was in New York. You guys could take a shot at it. Is yeah. that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Look up your history, folks. It wasn't always in D.C. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that stuff burned down. Yeah. <laughs> Lost a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this one's starring Jamie Foxx uh, playing the uh, the president and uh, Channing Tatum playing a, fa a father, a single father, looks like maybe a, a single th former military father who is like down on his luck right. and he's applying for a job with the Secret Service the right. same day that a major terrorist incident right. happens. Him and his daughter both get held hostage during the incident. It's his time to ri He actually takes the opportunity to rise to the moment. And they actually well, show, well, I think they show almost, this as a history, they show they have a, a history of doing this. Well, where I, actually, I when, when the chips are down, he does this. Well, I don't think it's also that, I think it's also because his, his, it's, it's more, he rises to that occasion because he needs to because of his daughter more than anything. Precisely, yeah. Because she, he might be separating. He's like, well, if I, if I help the president, I can then, you know, if I somehow do this, I can help, you know. Well, no, and again, they talk about how he received a silver star for pulling one of his, you know, buddies in Afghanistan out of, Thing, and, you know, and that, and also that leads me into one of the things about this movie. It's a weird thing because Channing Tatum doesn't do comedy, yet he has most of the funny lines. If I, I I'm not making a direct comparison here. No. But Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid kind of reminds me of the same thing, where you have Robert Redford, who usually can do the funny line thing and everything like that, and then you have Paul Newman, right. who doesn't always do funny lines, right. but he ends up with all the funny lines. You have that in Channing Tatum, where he's not usually the funny line guy; he's got the funny lines. Yeah. And then you have Jamie Foxx. Who, who is, is a, a comedian. Who was a comedian. And then all his stuff kind of comes off as, eh. eh. Like, I'm like, eh. really? You mean the guy who had the television show for like 10 years? Yeah. And then like, he's almost gotten too serious. Him as the president. And not only that, some of the stuff with Jamie Foxx is just totally playing to a mass audience. Right. Like the, 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 kick, the, the scene, Jordans part. The, the Jordans kick. And like, you know, the fact that the presidential limousine is actually just a stretch Escalade and right. stuff like that. And I'm just like, it, it's fine to a point. Uh, and yeah. not only that, while we're talking about cliches. 
it seems as though the main villain is just like a super CIA spook tech geek type of thing. Which Live for your die hard all over again. Not only that, Dark Siege. Two, it's just, this yeah. thing has just recurred over and over again. And what you end up happening is you have the non-tech savvy, gruff and rough and tumble guy yeah. against the tech geek. Yeah. And how, somehow he's going to surpass that, like, because basically... Uh, he's going to outthink him by because it's going to be the one thing he never thought of is just brute force type right. of deal. And not only that, but like the whole thing of like the one guy saving the president who's not supposed to be there. These are things that um, are kind of cliches. But it seems the movie kind of embraces these things. Yeah. Um, I have not too much bad to say about the trailer. Uh, I think Channing Tatum is actually. This kind of looks Growing. like an odd, an odd mix between like um, 21 Jump Street and like. Olympus has fallen. I wouldn't even say Olympus has fallen, <laughs> but you know, it's like it has like Chan Tanner from Twenty One Jump Street, yeah. where he's like kind of half making fun of himself, half real and stuff like yeah. that, and half a diehard is mm -hmm. what I would say. Diehard meets Twenty One Jump Street. That said, yeah. I'm gonna matinee this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and be really positive about this and matinee it because this this movie actually had the gall to wait for summer. It thought it had it thought it had it, a better yeah, movie it, than it, Olympus has fallen. Like Olympus has fallen, try to sneak it under the radar, beat it to the punch type deal. Yeah. This one was like, no, we'll wait, give you your time, and we'll actually just go based on the fact that our movie's better. Yeah. That being said, Matt Nagy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, before, before we really got into the trailers, me and Will, we both were coming away with this movie thinking, oh, it's going to be terrible. Because Limpus Has Fallen played at such a serious note, serious action movie, and this has that such a light... That it was accidentally comical. Right. <laughs> and, this, and this has such a lightheartedness to it, yeah. and it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see how that plays this lighthearted comedy with the serious I mean, there was a lot of joking in the trailer, which is almost a turn off for the movie, but I'm assuming that it's, that's most but, of but the lightheartedness. But, but I don't know how that's going to play, because Roland... I mean, other than Will Smith in Independence Day, you know, that had some com comedic elements, but other films Roland America has done, like 2012 and uh, The Day After Tomorrow, those didn't really have comedy beats. They were just so serious. Like 2012 was so serious, it's comical, you know. And I don't know how how this where this movie's gonna go. Oh come on, they made arcs. How is that comical? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, but I'm gonna stick the same rate. I think it's a matinee. I think it's gonna be a pretty fun movie to go see. Uh, oh, that's a library. Oh, that's a library. Don't go. Don't yeah, go yeah, don't go in there. <laughs> oh, and it's nice to just like it's. it's Why are you getting in the? That's it's part a, of, like, it's, a, it's yeah. a classic motif. Yeah. To have the self-doubting hero. Yeah. But Channing Tatum actually looks like he plays it well, and so therefore I'm excited to see this, and I, I think you will be too. Yeah, so we'll be right back.